Okay, folks, and I, I saw this yesterday, and I was going to do something about it until I read the whole article, and it comes down to that the only solution to actually create a wormhole relies on something called string theory. And there's a problem with that, because, uh, what was it, uh, earlier uh, in the year, uh, s uh, the, uh, the Large Hadron Collider was going to do an experiment that could actually prove that strings may exist. The problem was it failed. And now all these so-called string theorists are, are saying, well, maybe we need more energy and, and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just every time they're turning around to try and prove it, they're failing. Okay, so I'm beginning to get the feeling like this is not the way to go. And I've had discussions with this on YouTube with some people. And boy, do they ever get nasty. Okay, so, you know, it tells me I may be on to something here because... Why would you be so hostile to somebody who's saying, listen, until your theory is proven or there is a lot more evidence for it, I and others can't say that it's, it's something that's fact, okay? This is the difference between a theory and fact. You can say evolution is a fact. We have proof that it, it happens, okay? Things like that, you know? Um... Anyway, so they go through this thing where they, they, they kind of lure you in, right? They go, well, you need, it, this is how you could do it this way, but we have a problem. There's no such thing as a white hole that we, and, and I say again, that we know of. How can you see a white hole, right? Well, it would be like a giant big bang going off. In fact, our entire universe could be a white hole. <laughs> okay. And that's what, and in a sense... That would explain maybe some of the uh, inflation. Anyway, what causes that? And then they go they go through all this article and they they go through here and where where was the uh, thing on string theory? Uh, it's in the article, but you know they're making it sound like string theory is a fact when it's not. Okay. This is what you got to be careful of when you're looking at news and, and reading news. If I didn't know about this experiment at, at the Large Hadron Collider, I would just assume that they're telling us all the truth and this string theory is a great thing and all the stuff you see on YouTube is, is fact, right? You know, like... <laughs> so, you got to be careful, okay? I'm just saying, it may in, in fact one day be proven that that's the way it is, but there's there's little bits of evidence that say it may not be the case and that there's part of this universal <coughs> big bang theory that that has some problems okay this the, the major big problem with uh the big bang is this so-called inflation and uh Guth has a nice it's like putting a patch on something right it's like you get a hole in your bicycle tire, you get this piece of rubber and you put glue on it over top of that. Well, it's not fix the hole in the tire. It's just a patch over it, right? Eh, I have some problems with it, you know, and I, I got some ideas and, you know. Anyway, thought I'd throw this out there. Um, it's a little bit of science news and stuff like that. you got to be careful with these places because... Smart people use big, big, big words to try and make them sound smart when they don't need to do that. The sign of intelligence is being able to communicate thoughts and ideas to people, not make them feel stupid because you're smart, okay, or you think you're smart. Anyway, have a good one, everyone.